Hello, this is Rich from LiDAR News and GIS User, uh, and we're down at the GeoInt Symposium 2011, and uh, this morning we're with Alistair Jenkins, CEO of GeoDigital, and uh, he's going to show us the, uh, the uh, aerial mapping system, or the map, as you're calling it? Mobile oh, acquisi wow. acquisition. Okay. So, Alistair, uh, you can see the nice helicopter here behind you, and just yeah. hang on to but what we've got here is our complete aerial mapping system. It's our uh, mobile transporter truck. As you can see, the helicopter is actually transported in the, the truck. Um, the helicopter will come out on the rails here, lower to the ground, we'll put the blades on, and then the system is available for operation. We actually go inside the truck, um, this is a large mast. We actually do the data processing for the, uh, the data that comes off the line after the base of the helicopter. So it acquires all the data. The uh, information is taken straight off the helicopter, and then is transferred and um, to the data processing suite inside the truck. Once it's processed, we can then deliver it to uh, either our commercial customers, such as utilities, or our uh, government customers for GeoInt. That information can be sent via the, the broadband connections on the truck. To the, uh, the web, so literally the clients can download the information literally within hours of it having been acquired. We'll come inside and I'll show them a bit more. So within the truck, we uh, the helicopter completely is stowed within the um, the helicopter that should go within the truck for uh, transport. Um, it comes in on the, the rails that you can see here and it's stowed. We have a workshop to uh, maintain the helicopter and all the systems. And then the real part of the processing suite is up here in the top part of the uh, truck. So in operations from the command center here, we actually control and monitor the helicopters, so we have uh, actually three helicopters up and running, or four actually running, one's landed at this point in time. Um, those are being tracked in real time for where the systems are operating. Um, also the truck you'll see is obviously located here in San Antonio, Texas with one of the helicopters, which is the one that's obviously on the back of the, the truck at this moment. Once the data is received, the system is, uh, the data is downloaded and the operators can process the data here on site and then upload it through the data links to, to the web for the clients to use. So are there, there are multiple helicopters but one transport unit, so we'll drop a helicopter and then... We, exactly, we will, we will uh, deploy the helicopters to the various jobs. Um, when the customer has a, an urgent need for data, where it needs to be processed rapidly, then we'll use the truck and the processing on site. For some of the other helicopters, the, the processing need is done in a more time fashion, or less time sensitive fashion. It's, the data is taken and shipped back to our processing facilities um, in California and elsewhere for um, processing and delivery to the client. So with the, uh, so you say this unit is based in Atlanta? Um, its home base is Atlanta. It doesn't spend an awful lot of its time in Atlanta because it's usually out operating at the moment. Um, but basically, the the whole idea of the system is is it's you know a three days drive anywhere in North America with the system with the helicopter, and also if you have poor weather or you have mountainous terrain which would be difficult to get through. There's been many times where we've been able to move and relocate the helicopter um, a lot faster than you could ever do by hopping in from airport to airport because helicopters, unlike aircraft, don't have the same range endurance. Plus, um, well, what is I mean, to fly a helicopter for an hour, that can't be an inexpensive... <clears throat> um, operating a helicopter is probably t twice the price of running a fixed-wing aircraft. Um, the advantage of a helicopter, though, is, is you, can get, you can gather far more data on, for example, power lines or corridors in a given time. So we actually find that the efficiency of the helicopter when operated in this scenario, um, typically um, there was a recent article that was written that suggested that sort of the average acquisition of a corridor would be 50 or 60 miles of corridor on a good day that could be acquired with a, um, a regular system. With this system, we're actually able to do more than twice that in a day. So on a cost basis, um, the systems, particularly with the stabilized platforms, allow us to acquire much higher efficiency um, and to, to gather that data and process it faster so it ends up actually being cheaper. So are, are there any uh, types, of, typical types of clients that are utilizing this service? I mean, any <coughs> interesting 
studies you'd like to share? Well, commercially, um, in terms of commercial clients, um, the majority of our commercial clients are groups such as electrical utilities, um, gas and oil pipeline corridors where they have to monitor them, um, and also for engineering work associated with road construction or routing of new roads or um, similar activities. Um, for government agencies, we also have uh, a number of projects where um, they're more of a, a geoint or, or a, uh, um, um, a, a government reconnaissance project, uh, homeland security, those types of applications. Um, you can imagine that if there's a disaster or an yeah. accident, the system can get to those locations. It sets up a complete mobile command post and we'll work with some of the other vehicles. And then here at the geoint conference, you'll see that there are other command stations and command bases. You can ingest satellite imagery, bring that and fuse it with our real-time data to give the clients information that helps them to with the recovery operations or whatever else may be ongoing. All right. Well, thanks for the uh, uh, the tour and looks uh, real really nice and uh, good talking. Have a good show. Thanks. Thank you.